All the content contained in the WIS webcast is for informational purposes only. The investments and strategies contained in this webcast may not be suitable for you. Please consult your own independent financial advisor before making any investment or trading decisions. Well, Dennis, Apple News hit the tape. It's halted. What do you think? Yeah, Apple halted at 825 at 599.32 pending news. They've come out with the news. Here it is. They've got this is courtesy of CNBC. Um, if they're uh, going to do a 10 billion share repurchase, they're going to instate a quarterly dividend of two dollars and sixty-five cents, and they, the other 45 billion they foresee spending over the course of the next three years. So that's what they're talking about their excess cash. So they are giving a quarterly dividend, a little lighter than uh, what the projections. Uh, some people were saying as much as 14 dollars. This works out to just over 10. Um, and uh, the, t the share repurchase, obviously, uh, is something that may be a little bit positive for the stock. But overall, I think investors might be disappointed with this. It's going to be hard to say when it comes out of the halt. Uh, we'll obviously know quite a bit more. But I think they were hoping for a little larger quarterly dividend and maybe even some type of special dividend as opposed to saying, well, look, we're going to buy some more stuff with our other $45 billion. A little share repurchase, $10 billion, doesn't seem like much. And the quarterly dividend a little light. Wouldn't surprise me if this stock, uh, if they hit it a little bit on this right right i have to agree with you dennis i mean that's a pretty paltry dividend but i'm you know they did probably didn't want to do it in the first place uh let's just keep an eye on the parameters from the pre-market uh it's 608 37 is where it's 94 is uh where it's traded is low so i look for both of those parameters to be at um, I'm still looking at this 578 level, Dennis. I'll preach that until it's either, you know, taken out, or if it never trades back down to 578 again, then it's safe. But that that's a level for for uh, for traders, investors, short, long term hedge funds managers. <laughs> you like the little old lady from Pasadena, man. 578. Well, you name you may see it here uh, right off the open uh, when this thing gets out of the halt because. Uh, it's not no indications yet, but I just got a funny feeling that they're not going to love it, uh, that this dividend. It's about a 1.8% yield is yep. what that works out to when I just did the quick math, uh, which seems a little light considering how much cash they have. So uh, it'll be interesting. It's going to be an interesting trade in Apple anyways. Uh, moving on, we've got UNH trading up uh, relatively uh, significantly here. It's up over a dollar, United Healthcare Group taking out, making a new 52-week high here in the pre-market. Uh, the old 52-week high uh, is 56.25. Is that right, Joe? Yeah, 56.25. So obviously that could be a decent swing number. I use your whole number is 57. But this thing actually, believe it or not, uh, Joel might be able to find that after hours high on Friday. It was trading up over 57. I know that. They announced uh, like three new government contracts was the news. And that's why the stock was being propelled after hours. Uh, do you have that after hours high there, Joel? Yeah, fifty-seven sixty-nine. Wow. It traded, Dennis. Wow. Yeah, just not not big volume. Uh, I, I just if you look at a classic top here, this fifty-six was just unbelievable. Yeah, so really I just was. keep an eye on that. I mean, you had I can't even count them here. Maybe ten, twelve highs right in that area. Uh, so any kind of pullback to fifty-six would be good support. Uh, if in fact it falls back under, you know, 56, and you can look at to squeeze into uh, yesterday's range, uh, but on the upside, after um, hitting at 57.69, uh, people uh, kind of woke up a little bit, smelled the coffee, and uh, the resistance has now come down to 57 and a quarter. Crazy move. Uh DPZ, uh, which is Domino's Pizza, that is moving here as well. 4174 it's trading right now after closing at 3996. So this one's breaking out to a new 52 week high too. The old 52 week high being $40.36. Uh, they announced uh, that they completed the recapitalization, but the big news is they announced a $3 special dividend. So you can see when stocks announce special dividends, maybe Apple should have taken notes. Well, you know, maybe I'll eat my words if Apple really rallies on this. But when they announce special dividends, investors really like that check in the mail. And uh, forty-one seventy-four, so it's get up almost $2 on that announcement of the $3 special dividend, Joel. Wow, paying out the dough that... Well, once again, you have a scenario where you got to spike up in the in the pre market. I see one trade up here at uh, forty three bucks. That was a thousand shares. I think someone just 
bit the bit the bullet on a short there or something. But in the pre market, we've been topping out here at forty two fifty. Um, I expect resistance there if we can mount a rally. Coming back on the downside, you have to use that old fifty. As support, 4036, boy, but that's a long way to go. So uh, if you're short this thing, it's going to take a while to get back down there. Look for major support at 4036 and resistance starting at the 4250 level. UPS is acquiring a European company, TNT Express. They're spending $6.8 billion, which is a big acquisition for them. Obviously, the market's liking this acquisition here, Joel. The stock is trading up almost a dollar. 79.33 is trading right now after closing at 78.41 on Friday. So the stock's getting a pretty decent spike here. Uh, the old 52-week high is 79.13, so that's one number you want to keep in mind. And whole numbers like 80 bucks, like, you know, 77, 78, 79. Are big, but when you get to those round numbers, the uh, $80, those are always big. So I'd expect you know there to be some institutional resistance around the $80 marker. So keep that mi in mind because those high frequency guys they like to seek those uh, in that institutional order flow out. And if there is some at 80, they'll probably be selling it in the high 79s. So I would say you'll probably find some decent resistance in the high 79s until this stock starts trading over 80. Okay, uh, the pre-market activity confirms that, Dennis. We've got up to 79, 70, 70, 80 on a couple, 79, 80 on a couple occasions, and have peeled back. So I would use that whole 79, 80 to 80 dollar level as resistance breaks above there. I'll back on the downside. Uh, the short-term uh, buyers here have been coming in. Uh, basically at the 7920 level. So if that 7920 level can't hold, I'd expect it to uh, move back down into you know the 7 was uh, yesterday's high. So not as much as a gap and going this one as it appears since you had that that 7913 high on Friday. Alaska Air Group, just for note here, ALK is uh, tr going to trade it at the adjusted split price here. It's splitting this morning at 34.87, so uh, closing up 69.79, but the adjusted price 34.87. Uh, there hasn't been any trades go off on this thing as of yet. Uh, sometimes, uh, well, well, actually, I'm sorry. Is this? Uh, what, I've got a bad tick there, Joel. It's 70. Was it at 69.79? Yeah, that's right. So, and then, then it's going to adjust here. Did, okay. What's your chart showing there on the ALK, Joel? I'm showing. Uh, um, it's showing me uh, last in New York was 70.05. Yeah, so it is. It's a and it's doing a two for one split. So that is right. I was looking at this other chart here, and somebody had already adjusted the price, and I was like, well, something looks kind of weird on this other chart. But yeah, so the chart you're seeing here is the unadjusted chart, obviously, and then it's going to adjust. So the new price. Closing price is 34.87. Maybe Joel can do a quick technical on it, though. Uh, yeah, just looking at the numbers here, uh, people double topped ahead of this two for one split, 36.17 to 36.31. Real close eye on that level, and um, also uh, you got several lows here, uh, right? 33.99 to 34.20 level. So let's call 34 a major support. Well, it's all going to be about Apple today, Joel. So. Uh Keep an eye on Apple. When it comes out of that halt, that's going to be your driver, and probably for the overall market, and especially your tech stocks. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see. Is the dividend a little bit light? Uh, we're going to find out here probably in a few minutes when they release the stock from the halt. But uh, definitely, if you're trading stocks today, you probably want to keep an eye on Apple because it's going to be a driver for the overall market. Yeah, Dennis, I don't think that's going to be enough of a dividend to really to attract your value investors because if you're buying this thing at 600, you're getting a 2% dividend. A lot of these value funds they buy, you know, with the dividend, uh, you know, kind of protect themselves on the downside. It's not like you're buying a 30 dollar dividend. You know, it's a whole different scenario, but. Uh, we could see a you know, 50, 60 point range in that thing today. Should be interesting. Yeah. So good luck, traders, and uh, we'll be back with you tomorrow.